We believe that as a speaker manufacturer, our job is to open a large clean window to music. Argon is our no compromise effort to achieve that. What we have learned during the development of the studio monitors we're now bringing into the Argon lineup. The three new models are the Bookshelf 3S and two floor standards 3LS and 7LS. All the Argon models have naturally a waveguide, which is the Amphion trademark. The waveguide is really a way of interfacing the driver to the room. When working with a speaker, you always have to remember and keep in mind that it's going to work with a room and in a room. The overall sound you're getting from a speaker is actually a product of stuff going in all directions from the speaker, not only straight on axis directly to the listener. So it's really important that you have a, a very good response in all directions from the speaker because otherwise your overall tonal balance or frequency balance will be skewed. It will emphasize some parts that you don't want to emphasize. And this will of course depend on the room and you cannot predict the type of room that you, people are going to be listening in. So you have to make sure that the speaker has a really good dispersion which works in all rooms. By using a passive radiator instead of the reflex box, we believe that we can get a higher quality bass performance, uh, increased resolution in the mid-range and a more natural loading of the room. There's one thing about using a passive radiator in the speaker which was uh, a surprising discovery for me. Because normally you have this uh, ported speaker with, with a, basically has a tube at the back of the speaker or the front of the speaker. But the thing is that a, a tube like this has a, a tone, a resonance, you can hear it. It's an A and it's out of pitch. And the problem is that you will be getting mid-range frequencies into this tube from the rear of the driver. It's going to be entering the tube and you're going to have a, a coloration. I mean, if I speak into it, it sounds really bad. But with the passive radiator, you're actually getting rid of this resonance. It doesn't have this. So what you're doing with the passive radiator, uh, this is a big surprise, you're actually cleaning up the mid-range. The 3S and the 3LS have a single passive radiator matching that of the woofer and the 7LS has two of them. To ensure a flawless signal transfer, we're using a high quality three-way Argento binding post and a internal wiring is uh, silver plated high purity copper. Even if we push our acoustic design which allows us to keep crossovers very simple, we are using the highest quality components. So what you want the crossover to do is to separate the signals into two kind of channels, you get the low and the highs. From a pure power handling perspective, it would make sense to push the, the mid-range or the woofer as far up as you can, and then uh, let the tweeter take over and just handle the really top region. But that will put your crossover point right where you don't want it to be, because that's the most sensitive part of the human hearing. So by lowering the crossover point, you can get a much more seamless crossover region. So the challenge is really to get the electrical separation to agree with the acoustical summation. I tend to say that in Finland our hands are pretty expensive but our heads are cheap so we have to use our heads and that's why we've actually developed pretty innovative technologies for the cabinet manufacturing. Naturally the cabinets are CNC machined and some of them are actually assembled by a vacuum process. Waveguides are machined out of the multi-layer CNC with a specially made diamond tool, so we can achieve the, the quality and consistency that is needed. We specify all the drivers, we're not using off-the-shelf components. And in the Argon range, we've been working together with a manufacturer, Sears from Norway, for many years. The tweeter we used was originally developed for the Pro range, and it has a 25 mm titanium dome. In these three Argon models, we're using a six and a half inch aluminum woofer. So in designing the speaker, I spent a lot of time listening to music, uh, typically my favorite tracks, and I would also be measuring. I would go from one to the other, I would go back and forth. I would measure and I would listen. And I try to improve the, the speaker by improving the measurements and the listening experience, and try to make sure that they both stay on track. So when I arrive at the final result, when these two agree that this is a good speaker, it measures well, and it does produce the right sound for my ears, then I know I have a good speaker. For me, our slogan, Beautifully Honest, is a good way to describe our Argon range. It should be about music, nothing more, nothing less. If you value things like imaging, transparency, resolution, energy transfer, emotional involvement, maybe you should give Argon a try.